Sleepbox. Mikhail. Hello. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mikhail Krumov. I'm co-founder and CEO of Sleepbox. I believe in transformational power of travel. By uh, meeting new cultures, by li living through different experiences, we learn, we transform, we learn things about ourselves that would be impossible to learn digitally and virtually. Uh, the problem is that travel is not easy. And usually, the hardest part is accommodation. As a traveler, I want my uh, travel experiences to be as affordable, as uh, simple, as frictionless as other uh, services I'm already used to, like Uber, Zipcar, or WeWork. Uh, I know I want a lot of things, but I'm not the only one. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find the hotel solution I was looking for. Several years ago, um, I had an idea of Sleepbox. Back then, I was running my architectural company in Moscow, uh, building offices, micro-apartments, and uh, hotels. Uh, and we made a prototype of Sleepbox. Uh, I moved to the US in 2015, met my co-founder, Peter Chambers. And I had an um, MIT fellowship here. Uh, and uh, Sleepbox became a technology and a smart micro-hotel concept. So what is Sleepbox? First, uh, it is modular, standalone, plug-in hotel room. It is soundproof, it is private, it is charged with cool features like uh, ambient uh, light, privacy window tint that you change the opacity by just pressing a button, and Bluetooth speakers. Uh, second, uh, Sleepbox is a software platform. Uh, using our app, uh, guests can not only find and book the sleep box, they can also unlock the door, check in, check out, and control all the features of the room, changing light or temperature to their preference, uh, and having the same repeatable experience in any sleep box in any part of the world. We also have developed our own um, hotel management system that supports hourly bookings and actually 15-minute increment bookings and our maintenance flow, which I'll cover a little bit later. So together, hardware and software basically create a new model when we can trans uh, convert existing spaces into hotels. Uh, and we made several like alpha tests in Europe, and they were pretty successful rooms. People pay between 120, 180 dollars per night uh, for a sleep box, and uh, rooms are booked like months in advance. So, um, but so what we now can do is basically bring. Uh, hospitality and hotel service directly to users where they are and where they want to be. So today, uh, we have two solutions uh, I want to talk about. First one is, like, one is for cities and the other one for airports. I'll start with our city hotel concept for urban explorers. The idea is very simple. We convert office spaces into hotels. Uh, 8,000 square feet office space can be, can be converted into 50-room hotel. Uh, with a budget less than $2 million and uh, in less than six months, like uh, in, in perfect world in three months. And this hotel has common areas, has reception, has semi-private bathrooms. Uh, target price per night is $100 for a user. And um, our goal is basically to create um, a hotel that is not a golden cage, but a vehicle for adventure. Uh, so we provide the space and best location and connect our guests directly to each other and to meaningful experiences in, in the area. Uh, that's why they travel. Um, so this is the first solution, and we plan to scale um, up using franchise model. We work with interested franchisees from all over the world uh, because like, we have a great inbound uh, interest um, requests because people are really excited about like, how easy it's now to deliver um, and to launch new uh, hotel rooms or like in, in perfect locations. The second solution I want to talk about, and uh, the one we uh, start with now, is uh, sleep hourly sleep box service in airports. So we think this is the best way to introduce the concept to travelers by providing them relief from the airport misery that is uh, unfortunately uh, an inherent part of travel experiences. Uh, we all deserve something better than sleeping on floors and chairs. Um, these sleep boxes are uh, also, as, like in the cities, uh, are staffed 24-7. Uh, 
for maintenance, for security, for uh, hospitality reasons. So we change sheets, clean the room after each use. It takes um, less than five minutes. Uh, and, um, and users still like, do everything on the phone. They uh, book a room, they um, uh, control the features. So that's basically a like, hotel room as a connected device. And uh, today I'm proud to announce our launch in Washington DC airport in a couple of weeks. Uh, in Terminal A, uh, after security, you'll find 16 sleep boxes. Um, so that would be our official launch, basically, of technology, of software, of app. It's now all basically in construction, in testing, to, uh, to make sure that we, um, we have a good launch. launch. Um, and so I invite you all to stop by uh, if you fly through Dallas, uh, check a sleep box for a couple of hours, and uh, let us know what you think. Thank you. Thank you, Mikhail. Over to the Dragons. So about your uh, city hotel, do you guys have uh, any specific requirement about uh, the location? Uh, so we're now looking for landmark locations, like Boston downtown, Chicago waterfront, like places where people want to be and where it's hard to be expensive to be where the uh, supply doesn't match the demand. Harry, you said the target price was $100 per person per night. So for, right. a, for a couple traveling, that would be 200 bucks for two sleep capsules. So for a couple, we have for city hotels, uh, we have uh, units with queen size bed. Okay. So, and that's like a little bit more than maybe 100. But it depends on the market. Like somewhere it's 70, somewhere it's like 120. It depends basically on the lease. Uh, and uh, like in Boston downtown, uh, average price is like $300. <coughs> we basically, our goal is to give like price two, three times less than, gotcha. uh, than in the market. By the way, in, in the airport, it's like average price is $20, $20, $30 uh, per hour, depending on the type of the room. So if, so if I see a price like that, and I think about your sort of your cleaning and housekeeping, how are you going to keep your sleep box from becoming a sex box? And are you okay with that? So, um, I mean, in cities, we don't like... Somebody had to say it. Uh, sure. Uh, and in cities, that's, that's all right, actually. I mean, every well, hotel... This is why I was, sort of, I was hoping you would answer that way. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Takes I mean, care of the marketing problem right there. Exactly. Yeah. It solves solves the marketing yeah. problem right there. Yeah. I mean, fr frankly speaking, every hotel room is a sex um, box. At some <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> it took it until uh, 10.20. Now we're going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, uh, in, um, but uh, in airports, it's... It's important like, to, to provide security and like, to prevent misuse, and uh, that's why we staff 24-7. Like, it's, it's supervised, it's a secure environment. Uh, and in airports, we uh, now launch with only single rooms and only one person is allowed in. But what, what, I mean, what's the difference here between a Yotel? I mean, I get that the, the concept is a little bit different, but from an economic standpoint, a value prop to an airport standpoint, how is it, how is it not just a Yotel? So, or, or like a capsule hotel. In, in yeah, or capsule okay, hotel. Great yeah. questions. So let's start with Yotel. We think that that's kind of the closest competitor, basically, because the, the appeal to the customer is pretty similar. Uh, and from customer's standpoint, that's like they get the small room, tech savvy, cool. Uh, the difference is that we uh, have modular, scalable solutions. Uh, Yotel build the whole thing. Like it's like millions, like actually dozens of millions of investment to build like the like 200 room hotel. Uh, we do that for like tenth of the cost, and that affects the whole like dynamics. Uh, with the capsules, um, I mean capsules belong to a very different culture. They're not soundproof. They're not private. Uh, they're not full size. Uh, they're not mod like they're modular, but you cannot install one or like two. They're not flexible. So it's like completely different animal. Uh, and but what what we can say that what we tr we're doing now with Sleepbox is basically trying to like create and unlock uh, a new niche between hostels and hotels and capsules. It's and, like it. it I feel like yesterday we were talking about Airbnb. Everybody wanted to stay in somebody's home. That was like the millennial thing to do. But you just like you're like, hold my beer. Now we're just going to stay right under the Eiffel Tower exactly. in a little box. Exactly. Is this the next? Is this the next thing? <laughs> exactly. Like, exactly. You heard and it here first at Focus, right? Yeah. All right. Nope. We'll leave it there. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mikhail.